Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ancestral L Messages and this is going to be general message for the collective sign of Gemini from March 10th through March 13th. And hopefully the message will be able to give you a little bit of an insight, maybe tell you of how to navigate the upcoming weekend. And I'm going to try to get out all the general messages tonight because tomorrow I'm going to do new moon reads because we got new moons coming. So for the collective sign of Gemini, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Gemini for this their general message from March 10th through March 13th. In Jesus' name, amen. So, if you resonate, like the content of the channel, absolutely like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload any new videos. And it's completely free to like and subscribe. If you're interested in extended reads, this isn't a, this has no extended read to it. But if you're interested in the extended reads, the description box leads you to the Patreon page. My Patreon page. Which is $5, one tier. And you get access to all the extendeds. And right now the extended um, reads on the Patreon page are Twin Flame reads. And plus there's articles on the page about Twin Flame. So, so that being said, all the business side is done. So let's get into the read. I'm using Angels and Ancestors Oracle Card Deck by Kyle Gray. And then I'll use Crotero by MJ Cullinane. And I'll pull a Dragon Oracle card from Diana Cooper. So let's see what's going on, Gemini. Druid, hold the space. I love that card. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Hunter, track down your fears and desires. And I'll hold them up so you can see the cards. Hold on a second. And Summer, Bask and Joy and Light. So let's go through each of the cards. Sorry about that. I usually just do that and I got complete had like a brain fart, I guess you'd call it. Druid, hold the space. This talks about um, holding the space for another individual, like another person. And what it means to hold the space for someone. And it could be even holding the space for yourself. This is giving the space for the person to be absolutely honest and feeling secure and safe enough to be their honest, authentic self in the process of healing. And then you have Peacekeeper, which is let go of, and it says let go of the need to be right, to keep the peace. And it's not even to keep the peace. There's sometimes, okay, it's not to completely compromise in order to keep peace. That's not what this card means. This card means rather than keep an argument going where it's unnecessarily, like you don't have to keep it going. Like you, you can say your piece without keeping the argument continuing just because it's in the energy of keeping it going. Like you don't have to do that. You could say your piece and then move on. And then here's Hunter, track down your fears and desires. And this is really facing, this is shadow work. You know, hunt, track down what you want. Track down, like go into yourself and really, this talks about manifesting. And the process of manifesting is basically you um, make that list for yourself, within yourself. Like this is what I need. This is what I desired. This is what I'm asking for. But keep yourself open to receive it instead of blocking your own manifestation by saying, I want this, but I'll never get it. That's blocking it. So you're working against yourself. And this is waste of energy because you're you're trying to manifest and at the same time you're blocking it. So why even try to manifest if you're going to block it? You open yourself up to receive, but you become... it In the process of manifesting, it's... The belief that you will receive everything for your highest good. And it's not this thing of... See, there's a difference between manifesting and praying what you want. Like, you could pray for... And it, 
most expensive car on the lot, okay? You may not need that. Now, you'll receive it, but at the same time, your insurance will go up. Then every little scratch, like you'll be out there protecting it, babying it, because of course it's the most expensive car in the lot. Why wouldn't you do that? Like putting blankets on it, like calling it baby, like it becomes the center of your world. Now, there's a difference between saying most expensive car in the lot and saying I need a vehicle because of this. See what I'm saying? So manifestation isn't about I want, but it's specifically like I need a vehicle, but at the same time I would prefer this and giving details of it. Like I need this size vehicle because of this and I need, you know, and you're and you are calling it in like you can visualize it and this is your vehicle that's manifesting but praying for like the most expensive car out there just to have the most expensive car out there means the practicality of it is that it's an imbalance for you so the imbalance would then show up in high insurance payments like stuff like that so there's this is going through and asking you to look at it's shadow work, looking at healing yourself, but it's also looking at your manifesting abilities and how to manifest. Then you have summer, bask in joy and light. Receive, this talks about receiving. And in the um, in this Oracle deck, Angels and Ancestors, this is like one of the happiest cards in here. This is almost like getting the sun card in the tarot deck. Because what you're asking for, you will receive. But don't be afraid of receiving it thinking that it's going to be taken away from you or there's going to be like consequences to asking for it. No, this talks about manifesting. Visualize it. Say, this is what um, I'm asking for specifically. And I feel like I des not deserve to receive it, but I'm open to receive this for my highest good. So then let's go into the Crow Tarot. shuffle okay here we go now Gemini 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 page of cups strength knight of wands seven of pentacles and king of cups uh-huh king of wands Six of Cups, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and Hermit. Okay, what is coming your way, Gemini, for this weekend? Page of Cups, if I can pick it up. This is love message coming in. Tiny little love message. This could even be someone that has those feelings for you and sends a message like, Hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you in a while. That type of thing. Then you have strength card. This is being depleted of your own strength and getting a impartation of strength from God, from the divine. This is running out of your own strength, running on empty, and then receiving that impartation to keep going forward. Then you got Knight of Wands. Now, I like... Knight of Wands, because I am fire sign. Knight of Wands is that knight coming in with just the right words to say. This is um, information. I don't even feel like it's information. It's connection with someone, friend maybe, that's saying everything you need to hear at the right moment. The Knight of Wands is that rescuing knights... Are presented as rescuing energy but this is even connecting with a friend who tells you everything you need to hear like answers your questions this is that rescuing energy and pulls you out of like a dark place to where you can be 
um, you could go, it reignites the passion for your life. That's why what the fire signs are supposed to do for the light side of it. Now, if you cross a fire sign, on the other hand, like, it's not very good. I'm just saying. So, this is that rescuing, like, conversation, energy, someone coming in and giving good news. The Seven Pentacles. This is planting new seeds. Then you got King of Cups. Divine Masculine Energy of someone in their feels. And I feel like this is someone... This isn't your energy. It's someone coming in. Now, King of Cups, then you got King of Wands. So, they're in their fields, and they're a talker. Let me tell you. King of Wands is Aries card. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like it's Scorpio card, though, with um, King of Cups. But King of Wands, Aries card. Aries are talkers. Let me tell you, they're talkers. Salesmen. They talk a lot. They have that social energy with deep conversation. And it's the energy of the same person. And it's someone that you know from the past where it's like a reconnection of the, um, in the present moment. Six of Cups talks about stepping out of nostalgic from, of the past and reconnecting now. This is emotionally being present emotionally now this is that reconnection socially then you got three of swords heartbreak and disappointment and two of swords crossroads and i feel like the heartbreak and disappointment could come from the fact that it was such a long time since the two of you connected like there may have been some misunderstanding that had happened in the past and it's Presents you t at this crossroads of where do where do I go from here to the two cards are connection with yourself Well, it's connection, but two of swords connection with yourself in your future And this is how to proceed from here because I feel like that heartbreak and disappointment was a misunderstanding from the two of your past and like I said this could be I feel like this is childhood friend high school friend maybe which sends you into this hermit mode, which is um, self-reflection, trying to dive deep into your memories. This is even like going back through your memory banks and trying to remember certain things in the hermit mode. And like just really kind of going through like each detail and trying to figure it out. Like, what did I say? Like, what happened again? That type of thing. And it's looking at your own reflection for a moment. It's shadow work. Like I said, with the Hunter card. This is Shadow Work. Okay, let me pull a Dragon Oracle card for you. Okay. Thor's red, black, and gold dragon protects you in times of change, in time of rapid transition and transformation. Relax, you are safe. Okay, for the collective sign of Gemini, that is your general message for March 10th through March 13th. Love and light.